Ooh. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 with the sexist general commander Shepard Ever. The sex appeal appeal Shepard. Stop it, loose. We're about to go into the clinic to heal Ashley with her sex appeal, with her sexual healing. With her sexual healing, we're gonna kiss her just like Snow White. We're waiting her and whispering to her ear and whispering to her ear. We'll bang, okay? Thanks, ads and news. Interrupting my epic speech and intro. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody's under attack. There's no music here. Maybe I'll get music for the cuts in, otherwise, I'm gonna start a playlist. Good work, Dr. Freeland. Narrow splint's still the best course of action. I'll see if it's we have to voice. facial bindings. Meet you back here. Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But... I... I... I don't understand. It, it doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. But don't you worry, Commander Shepard will also kick repairs a legless and armless in the future. If I can get that done with my armors. That Ashley. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. Said banged. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. <laughs> I don't get why I should be very good thinking about you. I'm pretty sure they are eavesdropping. You hang in there, all right? I need you up and reporting for duty ASAP. You hear me, soldier? Mm -hmm. If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. Goodbye, okay? Goodbye. Or do I have the mod on where she so. wears a t-shirt? Pretty sure she wears a t-shirt. A different one. I'm not sure. What the hell is this? Oh, okay. Okay, let's put some music on in the background. It's too empty. My ambience. God, the ambience is good. Um, I've recorded the ambience from the Mass Effect 2 normally crash site. Oh, there's something I can do. Go into ah uh, ten minutes. I might throw that on YouTube in the future. It's a little bit late for that. I might have to re-edit it a little bit. But it's also funny because I run around with armless and legless shepherd. I put the flowers in. Down. Stop it, news. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Bum, bum. Mm. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Oh, yeah, this place. Where's Kasumi? Where's Said? No one here yet. Empty. Is under attack. Although the Asari colony is across the galaxy from Paladin and Earth, the maybe need to shut the news up with mods. That looks like Benesia. Benefia? Benesia. Oh god, how do I pronounce that? Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my son. But we spoke about this already. Oh no.
There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Boom. Puncher, no. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Shot it. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Oh, everybody, it's the worst. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. Oh, yeah. If that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Is that all too running? Even though we look very paragon. <laughs> yep, lovely. Yeah, maybe not like that. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Oh my, oh no, oh, trouble. Let's talk about trouble and nothing else. Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. Good luck with that. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Isn't that a say? For it's getting better, it's gonna get worse. Ooh. But the uh, store. Oh yeah, the Spectre store in here. Show me. Oh, that's not a shop. Oh boy. Oh, that looks good though. Service area, brave paladin, typhoon. Oh, the typhoon is a cool gun. Rana, Hurricane, Crusader, the Valiant, Eagle is cool. What well, is probably, I believe I remember that a little bit. That's a suppressor. Ben. Mm. Mm. Pajama, do you have money? I have money. Yes. I don't can't spend too much, I'm gonna buy those armors though. And one gun. Oh! Is that even a shotgun? A quick draw shotgun. Oh, wasn't that not too bad? God, I want, I want to play everything. The Wraith, the Paladin would be a good choice. Isn't that? Oh, god damn. Hurricane, too. I'm gonna give a pistol a smash, a soldier off with shotguns, I wanna blade all, if I have the money for it, which I won't have. Oh, let's go with the shotgun. And I'm almost broke. Uh, is that a firing range? I'm gonna try my new gun here. Ah, no, it's not. That seems like a waste of time. I need music in the game. Damn it. 
Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. The hot, crazy looking We've got secretary. Our own problems, Counselor. Earth is not in this alone. <laughs> but Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... it would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? I believe my music is slightly too loud. And it's only sitting at an 8. So to get it down at a 5 and restart. Good. <laughs> uh, do you have a better plan, sir? Please? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but... We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. Still too loud. Damn it. I'm gonna start the other playlist. It's, it's less loud. I mean, it's fitting the game perfectly, but still. Oh. I told you this would happen, and you did nothing. We can argue the past later if you like. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? Mm. Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. The 
There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. You all. Renegade. No sounds, not even car sounds. Ah, uh, how did you not put music into this game? Like seriously. Music everywhere. Be everywhere. I don't think we can do anything else here. Yeah. I'm gonna check the shop again, I don't think. Nothing new things are in there. You recognized that beforehand too already. There's something new in here? Nope. There's something new in here. Um bro. I'm broke. Let's get out. This is a midnight session, so I need to be more quiet. Oh, why is the neighbor's bitch again? That I'm talking. Good morning. Oh, hello, mate. Is that part of the mod? Because I'm pretty sure I've never seen that before. More alien spaces mod. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard. Kalisa bin seen in Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can- I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Ha! No. You want some? Ugh. She died. You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. <sighs> Oh. Oh. Kick her. Kick her too. Shock slam her. Suplex her. Something I've actually learned. Last week. Suplex us. I'm not a heavyweight, so shock slam won't be part of my arsenal. No one interesting here? Sad. Okay, we're done. Let's get to the ship, see if I can change armor. Talk to Joker. Have vivid dreams. See if they are modded. Shepard. Shepard. I don't know who you are, not since they got their hands on you. Oh, the dead body. Oh, okay. Thanos. That's him. That all makes sense now. Oh, that's way better than Star Child. The static noise is a little bit too much. Oh, bear. Maybe there will be still a Star Child. Ah, oh, I saw it. Damn it. saw it I was promised no star child no oh, damn it oh, there's still a star child have I failed modding <laughs> choke slam choke slam the kid
Is it Arl? Oh, yeah. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? It weren't there in my butt. When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. Stay. I was just leaving. Stay. Commander Shepard? I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. I need the Normandy functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, ...attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the Thanks. CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. That's the same. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. No shit. The War Room houses Ugh. a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. That's the shuttle bay bench. contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. I hate the war room part. That's the most annoying thing ever. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. They are always. More music. It stopped. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good. I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. 
Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Is that the war room? Yeah. I'm a mod so I wanna check out my gear and my squads and fit through the door, but I'm too bulky. Random humans. Warsets. New alliance. Blah, blah, blah. People, people, people. Yeah, no, that's five points. And good for you, girl. Oh, my God. I hate her. Hate reporters, journalists, even worse. Isn't she around here somewhere? No. What are you? Can I? No. God, it's the loading screen, hopefully. The council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thessia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Oh, side missions. Let's talk to Choker. Let's see if the mod works. Yes, mod. Let's see if that works. Oh, yeah, I see it work. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the council. <laughs> but after years of ignoring your oh. warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. Damn, Choker. You got comfortable here. Way too comfortable. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Oh, his body is more detailed than his goddamn face and neck. Oh, the, got the model detailed his body better than the goddamn game developers. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, Joker. Just running around shirtless. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Oh, thank you, trainer. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. The shops, whatever. What is that, my dog? The hell? Okay, sure. Okay. Why well, can I check on my squad? Is there another squad armor screen somewhere? Squad. Gotta check everything. I'm here, crew dog. Not many people here. We're just Miranda. No, I got Oopsie. Zero. That was Fane's room. No Fane. Rup, rup. That's the man's restroom. Assume his room. Poker. Poker. Illegal poker. Samara's room. Jesus, so many empty rooms. God. That day we can't go into the woman's bathroom, I mean, into. into recruiting Samara and Miranda. Oh, yeah, I uh, took over Miranda's place. Very nice, though. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone. 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. The hell is this? Upgrades. It was less than ideal. Now, Shaw, Council didn't go too well. 
Tower. At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. Wow. Becoming the big info brokers turned you into a real cynic, Liara. I like it. I'm flattered. I think. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. I won't read it, don't worry, babe. Hey, Looks really. like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. Just... I was getting worried. There were a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list. But later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie. Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? Oh. Thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the information network terminal. No curious. Not Jack Ross. Don't want to talk to her. I believe I can change my outfit into Captain's quarters. And Mama. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is that more here? Team status. Oh, there we go. Suck appearances. Normal. That's modded. That's modded. I like Garriott Logs outfit the most already. Okay. I believe that's modded. <laughs> that's modded. That's modded. That's modded. And that's modded. So much for him. The cheeseburger. Oh, except. Good. Why does that look more cursed than in Mass Effect 2? Mass Effect 2 is so detailed. Detailed. Hmm. Of much here. Is that all modded? Ah. Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. But here I don't get as much chest battle suit. Let's see if I can get invisible. Nope. Maybe later. Let's start with this bad boy. <laughs> oh. I feel like I kind of ruined it. Yeah, no, I don't want it anymore. Let's glitch. <laughs> oh, the hell. Yeah. Good, sure, let's save that for now. Oh, casual outfit. Mm. <laughs> What's that? Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, okay. Now I got some cool stuff here. The uh, hey. morning. Gotta stop music again. Jesus. Okay, let's see. Engineering. I won't probably talk to everyone. So what else is there? Shuttle bay. Oh yeah, right. That's all Vega is. Another town, Vega. Another town, you too. That's the same thing. Mm -hmm. oh, I did. Yeah, the more money to spend. Doing pull-ups. See what's upstairs. Probably nothing yet. We're gonna talk to the people another time. Where we go? Oh, Tali. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Uh. Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers? The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Oh. I feel like it's a smart choice to not be part of a suicide mission. Anyways. The hell? Oh, the space hamster. Oh, he'll die. Die under my guidance, leadership, ownership, ownership. I don't think there's much or anybody around to talk to. So many empty rooms could have been oh, <laughs> built of squad mates. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? 
fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Your story is Cerberus. They're a clear and present danger to everything we try to do. Alien audiences will hate them. Hmm. So they're traitors to Earth and the galaxy. I wouldn't have to torque it much. And you do have an inside track on Cerberus. All right, you feed me your info and I'll keep biting. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, everybody hates Cerberus. Nothing else here, right? No. Nope. No grunt. No, okay, I'm gonna mess with armor and weapons and stuff. Pay, 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 out. We're done here.